D-Wave stock is up 218% this year and over 2,600% in the last 12 months. The question is, can this keep going or is the run about to crash? You see, most quantum competitors are still stuck in the research labs. But D-Wave, they're already selling real quantum computers to customers like Volkswagen, MasterCard, and the United States Department of Defense. That's huge. And here's what almost no one, I think, is paying attention to. Their Advantage 2 system. It's the sixth-generation machine, double the coherence time, denser connectivity, solving problems faster than anything they've ever built before. That's not a slide deck. That's a moat. Now, the revenue still embryonic, just 3.1 million last quarter, but it did grow 41% year over year. If they can sustain 30 to 40% growth and expand margins, this stock could explode. But if revenue grows faster than net income, then we got a problem. My name is Rick Orford, and I've been trading since 1999. That's a good thing. It means I'm not here to sell you something you don't want. I break down the numbers to help retail investors like you make smarter, more confident decisions with your money. In this video, I'm going to break down exactly what's driving D-Wave stock right now, what I'm watching in their next earnings report, and the one signal I think everyone else is missing. I want to thank The Motley Fool for sponsoring this video. The Motley Fool is a company that provides investing insight and stock recommendations for investors of all skill sets and risk levels. And you all know how much I love researching new stocks and trying to find the next best investment. So I'm proud to partner with The Motley Fool to bring you 10 stock picks from their popular product, Stock Advisor. Stock Advisor has beaten the market by almost six times. Go to fool.com slash Rico to get your 10 stock picks right now. D-Wave has been around since 1999, which makes it one of the veterans in quantum computing. The company currently operates in two major locations, which are California and British Columbia, Canada. And with more than two decades of experience, most people still today barely even know their name. And why is that? Well, stick with me. D-Wave's business revolves around building quantum computers that solve complex problems much faster than our regular computers that we have today. Now, traditional computers check solutions one by one, while quantum computers can explore almost infinite possibilities at the same time. And this is exactly what D-Wave is trying to commercialize. The company's approach is called quantum annealing, which means It's particularly good at finding the very best solutions among millions of options. And in English, while others are still theorizing, D-Wave is already hunting down answers at scale. And this is where it gets interesting. D-Wave's target customers are major corporations and government agencies that need to help optimization issues. Currently, some of their most notable clients include uh, Volkswagen, MasterCard, Lockheed Martin, and Siemens Healthcare. These organizations implement D-Wave's quantum technology in various applications, like scheduling delivery trucks more efficiently, optimizing factory operations, and even discovering new pharmaceutical drugs. D-Wave is also the world's first company to actually sell a commercial quantum computer. So you could say that while most of their rivals are showing slides, D-Wave, they're already cashing checks. And that's a big difference. It sets the stage for what comes next. Now, let's talk about the stock performance because it's quite remarkable. Now, when I last talked about D-Wave, the stock was trading around $15.88. Today, it trades at $26.76. That's a gain of over 68% in just three months. Over the last 52 weeks, the stock has traded between $0.87 and $29.18, which has made a lot of shareholders really, really wealthy, but it also tells us a lot about the volatility. Now, year-to-date, D-Wave stock has gained 218.5%, which is pretty good, But even more impressive is the one-year scale. The stock 
has 26 texts. It's gained over 2,600%. And what does that tell us? Well, it's something we talk a lot about on my Discord. The stock has a potential to become a rocket ship, but it also has the potential to throw you out of your seat. And that kind of volatility is how fortunes are made and lost. So that was a little about the stock and where it's been. But what could drive the stock price higher? Well, for that, we need to take a look at the catalysts. First, their flagship system, the Advantage 2, became available last May. This is D-Wave's sixth generation quantum computer, featuring what they call double coherence time. In English, it just means a computer with higher energy scale and denser connectivity. And the result? It means it can solve problems faster and more accurately than the previous models. And I see this as one of the competitive moats that D-Wave has. They have real quantum products, not just PowerPoint presentations, right? So you could say the difference between theory and practice, well, billions of dollars in potential contracts. Next, we have the company's growing revenue. In the second quarter, revenue rose 41% to 3.1 million. Okay, to be honest, these numbers are still very small. But if D-Wave can sustain 30 to 40% growth while also expanding its margin at the same time, I think this will be the recipe for the stock to skyrocket even further. So that's what you want to watch out for in its next financials. But if net income grows at a slower pace than revenue, the stock is going to have a problem. And that's the classic trap, right, for growth companies. Revenue is vanity and profits are sanity. And for that, we're going to have to find out soon. So definitely watch out for it in the next earning report that's expected in November, which I will absolutely cover. So be sure to like and subscribe so you won't miss it. Another potential growth driver is the expansion of government partnerships. D-Wave has partnered with uh, Carasoft, which opens up a sales channel to the U.S. government. And D-Wave is now an approved vendor on the Department of Defense's Tradewinds marketplace. And all these could streamline the contract procurement processes. As I've seen countless times before, any new announcement of a major government contract could definitely send the stock flying higher. There's also reports about a new U.S. National Quantum Initiative and reauthorization of the National Quantum Initiative Act. Federal funding typically pulls enterprises into pilot programs, which would directly benefit D-Wave's sales pipeline. I mean, every time the government writes a check for quantum research, D-Wave's phone could be one that rings. The company also just held its first Qubits conference in Tokyo, where D-Wave announced their Asia-Pacific bookings are up 83% over the last 12 months. And one impressive example is Japan's largest mobile operator, which has 90 million subscribers. They reduced network congestion by 15% by using D-Wave's technology. If a telecom giant with 90 million users is leaning on D-Wave, imagine what happens when more carriers jump in, right? That's not science fiction. That's real-world adoption today. But of course, There are real risks surrounding the company, and I'm going to cover all of those risks in a separate video. So be sure to like and subscribe to the channel if you don't want to miss it. Okay, so the million dollar question today is, is D-Wave stock a buy? Well, to answer that, let's look at what the analysts say. A consensus among 11 analysts rate D-Wave stock as a strong buy, and this rating has slightly increased over the last three months. The highest price target is $33, which suggests as much as 23% upside from its current levels. Personally, I see D-Wave offering exposure to practical quantum computing applications today, while competitors remain years away from commercial deployment. So I think you could say that the analysts, they see the upside, I see adoption, and the real question is, do you believe in what D-Wave is doing? For that, let me know in the comments below.
And while you're there, don't forget to like and subscribe because it'll help others find this video. It supports the channel and you won't miss any of my next deep dives. Well, folks, that's it for me today. I wanted to thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time.